Hi all. So in this video, we are going to learn about cascading style sheet. So already in the previous video, also we started uh, the introduction of cascading style sheet. What is cascading style sheet in HTML? How we are going to use it? All those things we have learned in that um, a video. And now we are going to learn the second part of the same. Okay. So let us uh, start with what cascading style sheet implies okay actually what it means cascading is nothing but it is like a hierarchical order we are going to give we are going to set as i said in the previous video we are going to set the style permanent style for a particular tag okay so wherever i'm using that particular tag that particular attributes which i have given in the cascading style style sheets will be applied automatically to that particular part of my web page okay so that is actually the uh, the use of cascading style sheet okay but here when we are using this hierarchical order what does mean by hierarchical order in which order we are giving it will you it will be set in the same order okay but uh, in some cases in some uh, websites like today i have to show here suppose for five days alone i'm going to suppose if you take your amazon and flipkart websites what what will happen for few days they'll be having some uh discounts and special sales okay only in that part only in that case they are going to use some different web pages again they have to go back to their original part okay so in those cases uh, they cannot write the codings again and again what they'll do they'll apply all these uh, cascading style sheet codes they'll prepare they write everything okay they'll just um interchange it okay so i'll just show you an example so that you can understand it in a better way so here you can see so this is the program and here is the output okay so here if you check for this uh, p paragraph tag alone i have used three different style cascading style sheet okay so wherever you use a style so that implies cascading style sheets okay so what is the use of this you giving the three different attributes for the same pa uh, paragraph tag here even if i give so many um designs i mean so many attributes here for the background i mean the for the paragraph i've given red here i've given green and the last one is blue okay though i have given different uh, colors if you check your output you can see only it is coming only in blue color which is coming at the last okay so this is what mentioned here you can use it in any hierarchical order but it allows the latest style sheet to take precedence okay so whichever is the latest that will be applied so what is the use of it now today i need my website to be displayed in blue color i will use it okay tomorrow what i can do i can cut this i can post it here in between and i can make this uh, green to come at the bottom okay that's what i said in the cases of um, amazon flip cards and those shopping websites only when they have those particular uh, dif uh, discount sales they'll be posting those style sheet at the bottom whichever is uh, to be displayed okay and the original will go at the top okay and when they are coming back once the sale ends so this at uh, the bottom thing will go to the top or wherever at the middle or and the um, normal i mean the usual the default website page will come to the bottom so that whichever is coming at the end which is the latest one can be applied though you have so many style sheet uh, designs for your particular web page whichever is the latest one that can be applied so that uh without even writing the codes again and again you can simply by copy pasting simply by cut pasting you can make your website looks different in daily manners okay suppose in in a week every monday my website should show in this way every tuesday every thursday okay so if you take your domino's pages and all wednesday offers will be there so every wednesday they should have that particular thing should come at the top okay wednesday um mania whatever it is the, the name which they are giving so that should come at the top okay in those cases every wednesday every tuesday night they cannot sit and type those um uh, codings and they cannot post it in wednesday morning what they'll do they'll simply uh return this they'll just put it at the latest one they'll just add it that's it okay so this is the use of this um cascading style sheet you can have n number of uh, attributes 
for a single tag itself and you can post the latest one whichever you want at the bottom that can be applied to your website so this is what actually cascading used for okay so next we are going to see css syntax what is the syntax for this cascading style sheet okay so we have so many things in our syntax selector property value declaration rules okay so actually we have five things let me show you an example and explain all these things one by one so here is the code as we have seen in the previous example here we have our tag and this is the attribute okay so what is this tag this tag is called selector which tag i am selecting so this tag you have to write without any angle bracket that's very very important because you are using the angle bracket for that style before and at the end okay at the beginning and at the end we are going to use style at um tags so you no need to use those tags here for each and every uh, tag which we are going to use okay no need to use angle brackets for these tags you can directly you can simply write the name of the tag okay so that is h1 our heading tag okay so this uh for selector so selector is nothing but the tag the element which we are using okay and then we have we have to open the uh, flower brackets that's what you say okay the open bracket here we have font size colon then the value okay so this font size usually what we'll say font all these will come size color all these will come under attributes right yes those attributes are called properties and property name and the value is actually value okay what size i want what if suppose if it is a font um face you will give like uh, times new roman monotype corsiva you will give like that no so that is what called value what is the value you are assigning for this attribute okay so that is what value so this is property and this is value together this property and value is called a declaration right so here color is the property red is the value together it will call this declaration and here we have declaration separated when you have more than two values in a particular in a single style sheet okay you can use this declaration separator semicolon okay close the bracket that's it okay so now this whole part is called a rule okay so selector is nothing but the tag property is the attribute value is value assigned to the property property and value together called as declaration all these four is called as rule okay. next we are going to see about methods of applying css what are the methods how are available and how are we going to use those methods in css okay so totally we have three ways of adding style sheet in html document one is inline second one is internal or embedded third one is external oh, totally three types we have we'll see all these one by one inline internal and external so first one inline that is also called as the attribute style okay so inline method it is uh, it is used for each element of html each tag of your html okay so using this method the declaration is to be repeated every time even if the same effect is used to be effect is to be used by some other element in a document okay so you have to repeat you have to repeat the declaration for each and every time when you are using inline okay but when you are using it for a single element you can use it but you have to use it for uh, i mean you have to repeat it for every time and then the style is applied only to the specific tag it, it cannot be used for more than one tag at a time and not to all similar tags that is also very very important this is not cannot be applied to all similar tags then the style attribute can be used with any element in the body section so the same can be used for any element and the syntax is the element name style is equal to declaration so this is what the syntax when we are using it in a program you'll understand this in a better way 
okay so inline statement is for single element e each and every element can be given as a uh, cascading style sheet option and then it can be it it, it ha you have to repeat it for every time and it cannot be used for a uh, similar tags okay so this is this is inline attribute style and then the next one is internal so internal or embedded style sheet so here compared to inline internal are better because if you want to apply similar formatting for all the tags of the same types so, but in inline we cannot apply the same formatting for same type of tag but here you have you can apply that okay similar formatting for all the tags of the same type so that can be done in internal and then to create an embedded or internal a style sheet we have to use this style tag open angle bracket style close angle bracket in the head section that we have seen in our first example style and then p open bracket we have given some color the first example which i have shown that is the example for internal or embedded style sheet then here is the syntax head style type is equal to within double quotation we have to uh, give the css then you can give n number of declaration and you have to close style then we have to close head and another thing is we we have to give the style only within the head section but inline body section here it is uh, head section okay so that is very very important next one is external external style sheet external style sheet method incorporates two files one file that contains the style code and the other that contains html code okay so this external style sheet is having two different codes okay the file with the uh, style code is saved with the extension .css that is also very very important here because usually we'll save the uh, extension i mean the, we we usually will stay save the file with the extension .html but here we are saving the um, file with the extension .css okay only then that can be applied and finally we have to link that particular uh, um program or we have to import that particular exam so what is the difference we have to create a separate program for the styling part alone and we have to save that program with the extension .css and you can use that particular program in any of your html document with that particular name which we have saved okay suppose if you are saving that is style 1 style 2 style a uh, style 3 so style 1.css style 2.css you can link that particular you, just like giving a hyperlink which we learned already how can we uh, give hyperlink okay so in the same way you can link you can import the particular element from your css to your html so these are the three types of uh, style sheets okay and the rest of the things i mean how to incorporate these things in the program and how to work out those programs all the things we will see in the next video thank you happy learning